Well, the Tate brothers have been charged over in Romania. I'm going to go ahead and give my thoughts on these charges. Basically, it's rape, human trafficking, and coming up with a criminal organization. Now, a lot of people in the last few videos, they've said I'm jealous. No, I don't want to be the Tate brothers. I like driving around in my Bentley. I like being free. I'm a free man. I wouldn't want to be on house arrest, and I wouldn't want to be facing these charges. Now, my thoughts on it, are these charges trumped up? Probably. Uh, the rape and the human trafficking, an interesting spin with the human trafficking thing where they where they went with this one is the fact that they're basically saying that they tempted these girls to come to Romania under the premise that they would be in a relationship with them. And I think that that's interesting. I think that they can kind of spin that narrative to a point where maybe people would kind of sort of believe that because Andrew had said in a few clips or something that I'd seen in various podcasts that, uh, you know, he got these girls to kind of come and he kind of told them to low down and they all thought, you know, whatever, they were his girlfriend or something like that. And then some of them decided, well, I don't want to do this webcam thing. And they just took off, went back home or something like that. But some of them stayed. And, um, so you could maybe try to spin some sort of narrative that, uh, you know, he duped them or got them to come there under those pretenses or something. Uh, but I think that the thing that they really kind of can't, and I think it'll be this ancillary thing. And I posted the link to Twitter and I'll post it again on this, that, uh, Andrew basically admitted that, you know, they were essentially duping these guys via these girls saying that, okay, you know, they're going to go visit these other guys in other countries and um, maybe over in Russia, various different places. And, they, um, you know, the guy would send a bunch of money and, you know, so that she could get her visa and, and pay for the flight and all this other stuff like that. And then she was never intending on going to see the guy in the first place. So it's kind of the opposite of what they're trying to charge him with. And I think that's going to be kind of an ancillary talking point. It's probably what they'll use that for, but it'll be one of the kind of main talking points for this premise of this criminal syndicate, this criminal gang that they've created. Because if they had a lot of people doing that, committing fraud, then you could say it's like organized crime. I could see how they could spin that narrative. Um, and there could be some validity to that. You know, obviously it's fraud, it's a scam. And, um, you know, I think that that's gonna, you know, I think that that's gonna come back to bite them, you know, and this is all self snitching and stuff. And as far as the self snitching stuff goes, you kind of see this a little bit with some of the rap, some of the rappers, oh boy, road's closed up here. Um, you see this with some of the rappers. And one of the things that I saw is that, um, you know, Kodak Black, it looks like he's, he's going to club fed for like three years for weapons charges. And, um, Fuddy Wap, I think is in, you know, he's in trouble for maybe transporting drugs or something like that. You know, these guys rap about it, but that was their life. And then they thug out and, um, you know, it comes back to bite them a lot of times. So that being said, guys, that's my thought on the Tate situation. I don't want to be them. I think they're up against a mountain and some of the charges you know, you could kind of say there is a little bit of validity to some of this. And um, I would definitely not want to be defending against that. So anyway, guys, what do you guys think about the charges in Romania? And how long do you think that's going to play out? I think it's going to, I think it's going to take two, three years uh, for them to really kind of get charged and for anything to really kind of get, uh, you know, kind of officialized with this. But, you know, who knows? Anyway, guys. Have a nice day. Follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos, YouTube, Instagram, Steam it, Twitter, Hive, DTube. Subscribe.